This is a 12-sided Rubik's Cube, and unlike a normal Rubik's Cube, it uh, has 12 sides. And with double the amount of sides, makes it double more impressive. You see someone solving one of these, you're like, damn, they're a genius. You see someone solving one of these, you're like, damn, I think I'm pregnant. This is what's known as a Megaminx, and solving one of these is probably the sexiest thing a human can do. But the last time I solved one of these things was about four years ago. So I wanna see if I still have what it takes. So using what I remember from solving this cube and my current knowledge of this cube, I'm gonna try and solve this with no additional help. First things first, we're gonna need to scramble this bad boy up, so uh, let's just get to it. And now let's begin. Now the first step of solving a normal Rubik's Cube is to make a white cross like this. But since each face of this cube is a pentagon, I'm gonna need to make a star. So I think I can just do something like that. And that is my first piece in, second piece, third piece, fourth, and fifth. And there we go, now I have my star. The next step on a normal Rubik's Cube is to fill in these two gaps here. And we do that by making a pair like this and putting them in the gap. So it solves this whole section here. So it should be the same for this, let's uh, try it out. And just like that, we got our first pair. Now let's do these for the rest and I'll be back. And just like that, we've now solved this entire section. Now I believe I have to solve these three pieces here. And I can do that just like that. Now let's do the same thing to all the other sides. And there we go, we got all these little pieces around here. And now I think we do the same thing for these pieces that we did for these pieces here. So I think we can do something like that. And yeah, look at that, solves that set. Oh, I'm on fire. Look, another piece done. And another one, and another one. And now we just have this one last section to go and it will be done. The problem is like, I, I don't know how to do that. Yay. Now I can probably try this algorithm here, which I know from the normal Rubik's Cube, but I don't really know what it does. I'm just gonna keep doing it and twisting it around and hope it does something. <gasps> Ooh, okay, okay, ooh, okay, I did it. <laughs> okay, look at that. Look at that gray star right there. It's almost as gray as your mom. Didn't make sense, but whatever. Next step, I think what I need to do is I use another algorithm to make all these edges line up. So this one here, instead of being pink, it should be blue. Now the algorithm does something. I don't exactly know what. Hey, look at that, look, look how sexy that is, bro. Sorry, I got excited. Oh, I, I actually did it. Look at that. Now they're all, they're all in that. They're all in that. This is easy, bro. I know how to do the corners now. Check this out. I just repeat these moves here till the corners are in the right direction. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, boy. Now the last thing I need to do is just put the corners where they need to go and we'll be done. We'll be done the whole thing, guys. This is epic. And I do that by taking out this one and replacing it with this one and then taking out this one and replacing it with this one. <gasps> Yo! Guys, we did it. We did it. There we go, guys. That was my solve on this epic cube. This is the, uh, I, I don't know what it's called. One sec. This is the, this, the, the white, the YJ magnetic, yeah, cube. S subscribe.